like for for the whole the whole crowd and I read one of the I read one of the messages before and and I knew that everybody was going to do this where I I demand I demand action on trade deadline day like again what evidence do you have to suggest that Steve Eiserman is just going to be like well I got to go get somebody for the sake of getting somebody that's mm-hmm. wrap your head around this guys that's not how good teams operate and st- what, what what resume do you have to suggest that Steve Eiserman is going to get all emotional and make a bad move or make a move just for the sake of making a move? It's not how he, it's not how he rolls. No, it's there, not how he operates. There's certainly no evidence of that. And as I said before, and that's why I tried to uh, bring it up with they're still right on serve when it comes to this uh, – this uh, second half surge of playing good hockey. They can still, they're still in the playoff. They're still sitting pretty when it comes to the wild card spot. I mean, they, their hopes of catching Toronto may have taken a little bit of hit. But again, like I said, that is okay. They still are in great position to make the playoffs. They still have what I believe to be a Stanley Cup level offense, really spearheaded by the Alex Dabrinkit trade, the uh, Patrick Kane move midseason, the Daniel Sprong, and then even JT Comfer. And of course, he drafted Lucas Raymond and he re-signed Dylan Larkin. So that is all well and good. It's just defensively they're not really up to par when it comes to winning Stanley Cups but they can still make the playoffs which would be a hell of an accomplishment considering where they were when he started where they were at the end of Ken Howland this would be a 100% win for them to just make it and oh by the way and we mention this all the time the Grand Rapids Griffins are pretty loaded at the defenseman position highlighted by uh, Simon Edvinson and 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 that's and and flannel yeah. yeah that's it right there yeah like it's all out there in front of you Yes. For, for everybody, for all the Wings people, it's out there in front of you. Like, this isn't how this works. You don't go on a seven-game winning streak or a six-game winning streak, and then, boom, you're the favorite to win the Stanley Cup <laughs> in, in a world where the Florida Panthers exist, yeah. in a world where the New York Rangers exist, et cetera, et cetera. That's not the way that this works. Like, I, I, know, I know that everybody runs hot, and I gather that. But let's just tune it down a little bit, all right? With the And guess what, guys? We went over this last week. But let me reiterate it one more time. The enforcer that everybody wants. Well, everyone gets physical with us. You know, how, you know how during the win streak, you know how the Red Wings dealt with that? You score on the power play. You score on the power play. That takes care of itself. 